The field of computer graphics has existed for nearly 60 years and has worked its way into almost every computer that we use. Whether it's your phone or PC that uses graphics as an interface, a game console that renders immersive graphics in real time, or even CGI films where everything you see was created on a computer. But one of the biggest challenges the field faced was attempting to make photorealistic 3D graphics. Unlike other graphics such as a user interface, 3D graphics attempt to mimic reality. The difficulty in that comes from the fact that the world isn't composed entirely of mathematically simple solids such as cubes or spheres. Without shapes that could represent all the complexities of the real world, computer graphics had no chance to make photorealistic images. That was until Martin Newell changed everything. Back in 1975, Newell, who developed the Painter's algorithm for 3D graphics, needed a model that he could use to test his rendering algorithms. He happened to be having tea with his wife when he brought it up, and she suggested their Melita teapot. This turned out to be just the model Newell was looking for, and he quickly sketched it down on graph paper. When he went to the computer, he entered his sketch in as Bezier points, which allowed him to make a smooth curved surface. Newell decided to make the information for his model public, which allowed other researchers to also test with it. The teapot was a useful model because it was mathematically simple, being smooth surfaces, yet still contained the complexities necessary for the research at the time, such as having a hole created by the handle, as well as being able to cast a shadow onto itself. Because the teapot had all these characteristics, and also Newell sharing the model, researchers all began to use this model, rather than taking the time to make their own. Even though advancements in computer graphics made the teapot easy to render, many still use it as a test image, in the same way that programmers use Hello World as a test program. Because of how many people in the field use the teapot, it became sort of an in-joke between graphics programmers, with it making appearances in Pixar movies, the 3D Simpsons episode, the Windows Pipes screensaver, and even jokingly being called the 6 platonic solid, the teapot ahedron, if you will. The real teapot was actually taller than the model, since during a demo, Jim Blinn scaled the teapot to be flatter and found that he liked the new proportions better than the original. The real teapot can be found currently in the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. While the Utah teapot is no longer as popular with graphics programmers due to it not being as complex as other test images, it still holds a place as being one of the most important 3D models in computer graphics history.